my name is Wyvern, the Guild Master of Skra, and welcome to our strategy for General Vizdax Encounter. Please notice that this was recorded in Sunwell Server non Realm, which also means that all encounters are buffed. I'll be talking about the buffs in just a second. For this encounter we like to use a 1 tank and 5 healer setup. This is a, mainly an endurance fight and the tactics are pretty simple and straightforward. The endurance fight is because you cannot regenerate any mana by talents, gear, mana per second, pots, and not even abilities. No matter how much spirit and MP5 you have, you'll never regenerate mana unless you kill a Saranath Vapor and stay on the green area that the Vapor leaves and this will give you mana at the cost of health but if you stay too much time there, you'll start taking way too much health and you'll die. So use it wisely. Shadow Crash is a shadow bolt that Vezax shoots into the air going towards the player and once it hits the floor, if there are players nearby, it will damage and knock back them. We want to avoid this damage and this knockback, so we move out. But once it hits, we have our ranged DPS going inside the dark zone and getting a really nice buff. This buff will give you 100% casting speed and magic damage done, and it will reduce your heal done and your mana cost from abilities by 75%. Make sure you only have your ranged DPS inside of the dark zone. Since our range DPS will be dealing a lot of damage, we have our men, hunters and rogues, MT and taunt on the tank at all times. Notice that the boss is immune to taunt and you will never be able to taunt it back if you lose thread. End of Salvation is also a nice option here. During the fight, the boss will cast Mark of the Faceless on a person. This will heal the boss if the person is close to the boss, so we have that person going outside of the raid. Notice that the more people are near that person, the bigger the heal the boss will receive, so we need to have this person move instantly out of the raid. The boss will also cast Searing Flames, this is a really bad thing that will most likely wipe your raid. So we have the group 1 interrupt the first Searing Flames and the group 2 interrupt the second Searing Flames. Notice that it's only viable for the melees to interrupt it. And make sure that you have multiple melees interrupted since he can resist some of the interrupts. The last ability the boss will cast is Surge of Darkness. This gives him a huge DPS boost and it will also slow the boss. Notice if you have a defensive cooldown up, you should be able to survive this. But if you are out of cooldowns, it's also a good choice to just kite the boss and then reposition. Notice that when kiting the boss, have your melees always at the boss, ready to interrupt and ask your range DPS to chill a bit with the DPS so the boss will not go to them. For Sunwell buffs, this boss is mainly buffed on hard mode. However, the only normal mode buff they add to this boss is doubling his HP.
thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.